going to pray. We're going to apply the blood and then we're going to go deeper. Father, I thank you tonight. Jesus, once and for all, walked into the holy place, risen from the dead. For you looked at him and said, Arise, my beloved. Hell could not stop him. The grave could not hold him. He ascended. And Jesus walked into the Holy of Holies, carrying something in his hands. And it was not the blood of goats. It was not the blood of bulls. It was not the blood of calves. But he carried his own blood. And he put it upon the mercy seat, Father. And you said, you stood up. You handed him the scepter of righteousness and called Jesus God. And said, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies your footstool. Now, Heavenly Father, we have a right to that blood. And in the Old Testament, they would sprinkle the blood. with the root of hyssop. Today we sprinkle it with our lips, our mouth, our words. Therefore, I plead and apply the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God's blood upon my life. I want you to do that right there. Come on, do it right now. Say, I plead, I apply the blood of Jesus the Christ, the Lamb of God's blood upon my life. How many believe that? You are now hedged in. Nothing of the enemy can touch you. Now we're going to go deeper. How many got family members? How many of you are married? Let's go for the married. If you're married, let's plead and apply the blood of Jesus. You should do this every day. I do it every day. Every single day. Day, I do not leave my house without applying the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God's blood upon me, upon my wife, my children, my dogs, come on, my home, my vehicles. Lord, we plead and apply the blood of Jesus the Christ upon our spouses, upon our marriages. Lord, I plead and apply the blood of Jesus upon my wife. I plead and apply. Now, if you got children, I plead and apply the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God's blood, upon my two boys. Come on, you call out to God for your children. If you got grandchildren, say, I plead and apply the blood of Jesus upon them. If you're a police officer watching me, or you're a police officer in our room here tonight, you need to always plead and apply the blood of Jesus. The devil can't touch you. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus. Now do it over your homes. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus the Christ, the Lamb of God's blood over my home, my property, my possessions. I draw a bloodline of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God's blood around my property. I say no witch, no warlock, no wizard, no voodoo priest, no satanist, no worker of divination or iniquity. You cannot touch my property. In fact, I plead and apply the blood of Jesus around this church property. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus around this plaza. I say no to witchcraft divination. I declare this is a no-go zone. This is a no-fly zone. This is a no-entrance zone of any witch or warlock. And I speak the same over my neighborhood. I speak the same over my home and my property and my possession. No! Go zone of the enemy because of the blood of Jesus. Shout the blood. Come on, shout the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Lord, I plead and apply the blood of Jesus. I say this. Because of the blood of Jesus, I want you now to come into agreement. No sickness. Every curse of sickness, we break your power. We say the blood of Jesus is against it. No cancer, no disease, no virus, nothing that is named, that is named of sickness and disease. 
death, premature death. The blood of Jesus is against you. You cannot touch me. You cannot touch my body. You cannot touch my wife. You cannot touch my children. You cannot touch my pets. You cannot touch my property. You cannot touch my sheep. You cannot touch this congregation. You cannot, for the blood of Jesus is against you. And I speak the fire, the fire. And I say you cannot touch those that are watching around the world. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We break every assignment. We break every assignment. No sickness, no disease, no death, no destruction, no accidents, no injuries, no tragedies, no calamities, no kidnappings, no rapes, no murders, no carjackings, home invasions. No! Cannot. For he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God abides under the shadow of the Almighty God. We say of our God that he is our refuge and he is our strength. He has delivered us from the snare of the fowler. And from the noise and pestilence that lays waste at noon, thousands fall at our side, and ten thousands at our right hand does not and will not come near us or our families and those of this beautiful church and those that are watching. No sickness, no disease, for he has given his angels charge concerning us and concerning those that we're praying for to guard and to keep us in all of our ways. And those angels bear us up within their hands lest we dash our foot against the stone.